Hey everybody, I'm here doing a review on the new Vivaldi web browser. Check it out. Alright, so I discovered this web browser probably about, I don't know, a year, maybe maybe a little over a couple years ago. Um, it's It's really nice. I like all the features that are in there, and it's a lot better than... 99% of the browsers out there. So let's go ahead and check it out here. Opening it up, it brings you into a nice screen. You can see already that there's a sidebar. There is a profile picture. There's not much in here. It's pretty clean. Um, what I really like about this is that it's got a nice blocker system for trackers and ads. It gives you good control. I generally just do block trackers because sometimes with the block ads you get issues with some websites. We're going to go ahead and click continue. Um, the next nice thing in here is you got different themes that you can use. It all depends on personal preferences and you can even customize them even further. I'm a big fan of the dark. I don't like the bright lights in my eyes when I'm working on computers, especially for hours a day. So, And the next thing in here that you'll notice is tabs. Now there's you can have your tabs arranged on the top, the left, the bottom, and the right. Me being traditional, I like the top. And then the, another feature that they offer is the web browser, mail, and calendar, which gives you some additional options that are going to appear on the side, or you can just go the standard web browser. We'll go ahead and choose the browser, mail, and calendar, just so we can give you guys an example of how it how it works okay and so when you come in here it's going to ask you to add your first account um, if you don't have an email address it'll offer you um, some providers generally I would just go ahead and enter in my um, gmail account or an, another account you know say if you use yahoo or if you have a personal email through your hosting provider things like that um, I'm not going to enter in, in anything here just for privacy reasons and it says we're all set to browse. So some of the nice features that I really want to point out here is Vivaldi's ability to manage tabs. Um, I'm somebody that likes to open up a bunch of different tabs at once. And when I, when I say that, I mean um, I'll have a bunch of different windows open on the same browser, and it gets bogged down when I use just about any other browser, especially Chrome, Firefox, all that. What's really nice is you can see I've opened up a few other tabs here. And what I can do is I can actually, let's let's do an example. Let's go ahead and go to um, google.com. And now that we're here, we're going to go check out the about page and then maybe the store. And maybe I have a few different, um, you know, tabs open and after a while they'll start getting stacked up and it's kind of hard to keep them all organized what's really nice about this browser is if you right click on the tab and come down here stack tabs by hosts now it's got all of our google pages here and it it didn't grab these because this is about.google so that's a different url so but if it was the same you see how these end in google.com they all lined up and stacked up nicely and you can see how they're separate and yet they manage to keep all these as a sub tab group that's a really nice feature i really like that another thing that i'm a big fan of is if you go ahead and open up settings and in here they got all the settings nicely grouped categorized you can search for an exact feature um say you want your bookmark bar we're just going to go ahead and click in here, go bookmark. Is it bookmarks? Um, let's see here. Oh, show bookmark bar. See, and then there we go. We got it right there. You can search for the exact setting that you're looking for. Another great feature that they offer, which I'm a huge fan of, is the mouse. Now, I'm a big fan of mouse gestures. I've been using them for years. I really, really enjoy this being built into my browser. So that way I don't have to have a third-party add-on, which can actually read all of your sites and data. 
Um, you can you can customize just about any sort of um, gesture that you could imagine, and and even custom um, have them perform custom actions, custom you know scripts and things like that, quick commands. Um, now, this gesture here is one that I generally use for scroll to the bottom of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And let's see, history. Yep, we're going to go ahead and remove that fast forward. And then I'm going to click in here and we're going to go bottom. Scroll page to bottom. And I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw it with just a right click. Excuse me, left click. And after I have it done, I'm going to save it. And I'll give you an example of what that does here. If we open up this page, and now I right click, scroll over and down, just like the gesture I made, and it scrolled us to the bottom of the page. And I got to get the one for scroll up and all that other wonderful gestures that I'm used to in here. Um, another great feature that they offer is you can manage all of your feeds. So if you land on a web page that has a RSS feed, you can just add it directly in the browser and get notified whenever you open up your browser. It It's handy to have all of this built into one platform without having that third-party data. You have a calendar. You can link it up with Google Calendar. You can keep it private inside your browser so you don't, you know, say you don't use um, Google, say you just want, a personal calendar that's not linked to any services. You can keep that right in here in a local account. Here's where you would handle all of your mail accounts. You can manage your proxy. You got some web page settings. They got some awesome search options. Uh, you can have it so that you can see the actual field or just a button. And it's really nice because they allow you to fully customize this browser way further than any other browser I've ever seen. Um, hands down, this has got to be one of my favorite web browsers. They they are an, uh, a newer company, and I, I am really sticking behind them. So if you have any questions about features, any questions about the options, the abilities of this browser, just feel free to reach out. Um, I'd be more than, more than happy to answer any questions. Um, oh, one other thing is you can also create an account for Vivaldi. Now, this is a Vivaldi account. It's not a Google account, um, but you can actually add extensions. All of the same extensions that you're used to um, having in your Chrome browser, you can access all of those in the Vivaldi browser as it is built off of the Chrome engine. So for example, say you come in here and you you like a color add-on extension. You know, it's just like adding it to Chrome and you don't have to be signed in. And you click that, add it up, and it'll appear up here in the top bar. Another nice feature about this browser as well is going to be the ability to customize this bar. Um, that's that's something that I really appreciate too. I, I don't like being stuck with a solid view or a solid layout. I very much customize my browsers. I like, I am very uh, tech savvy when it comes to my, my computer and I use just about every feature that I can squeeze out of this thing. So it's it's actually a really great option here. Um, see, you can come in here, you can customize it. If you want to adjust, say, you know, the status bar down here, you can add some icons, you can remove some icons. Uh, you have your panel options, which are gonna be on the side. You have your mail bar, that's for, if you ha added a mail account, It these are the options that are available in the mail section. You have your composer, your messages, your command chains. And command chains are a little bit more complicated, so I can tackle that in another video. Another option that they have is a take a break. So you can pause your browser and just hit pause, and everything goes down. It's gone. It's on the background. So you don't have to worry about it. Somebody comes walking by, nothing, they're not going to see anything. Say you just need to get yourself away from the computer for a few minutes. I know I do sometimes. Um, 
that's a great feature as well. And when you're ready to come back, you just hit the play button, you're good to go. Now with this, you also have your contacts, you have tasks, which is another handy thing. Um, one of my favorite features, absolute hands down favorite features about this browser is their notes. Um, notes for me comes in super handy. Uh, I generally do things like test at gmail.com. Okay, say this is my email address and I use it on a regular basis. What I'll do is I'll actually highlight it, right click, copy to note. And if you see over here, now it's in a note section. It tells me test at gmail.com. That's all that's in here. It tells me the website it was created on, the date it was created, and the last time I've modified it. Uh, that comes in really handy, especially, say, if I was trying to sign into an account. Um, all I have to do is come over here to this field, right-click, scroll down to insert note, and boom, test at gmail.com. It's already got it submitted in here. Another great thing is if you're signing up for accounts or if you ever make a purchase online and need a copy of the web page, you got a screenshot button right at the bottom. You can take a full page capture or just a selection, for example, just like that, and you can save it as a PNG, JPEG, copy it to clipboard, or create a note with this capture. And there we go. Now, if you, you, you're wondering, where is the picture? Well, if you double click on the small icon down here, that should open up your picture that you had created. And here we go. You can even view additional information about the pictures, um, just about any picture that you could pull up on the web. For example, let's go dog. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on this dog here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click an image and click on image properties. And it's going to pull up a whole page where that photo is actually located and give us some additional information. Now, if there's more metadata that are added to the picture, it will appear on the side here as well. Again, this is just a short overview of my favorite web browser. Um, one other feature before I go, I wanted to point out is their workspaces. Now, say you you do web web design and you also have your personal web browsing on the same computer. You can have another workspace dedicated for your web design. And so when you click on design, this brings you over to your web design oops, workspace. And so you have all these tabs that you can manage separately. It's a really great system, and it's really handy. So again, I'd like to thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.